Did you know that in Java, two seemingly similar ways to compare values can lead to completely different results? Let's dive into the world of Java comparisons and uncover the truth behind equal sign, equal sign, and equals. First up, we have equal sign, equal sign. This operator checks if two references point to the exact same memory location. Think of it like asking if two people are standing in the same spot. If they are, then equal sign, equal sign returns true. If not, it returns false. Simple, right? But here's the catch. It doesn't care about the actual content of the objects. It only cares about where they live in memory. Now let's talk about at equals. Oh, this method is all about the content. When you use at equals, you're asking if two objects are equivalent in terms of their data. Imagine two people with the same name and characteristics. They might not be in the same place, but they share the same essence. That's what equals does. It compares the actual values inside the objects. But wait, there's more. The beauty of e equals is that it can be overridden in your own classes. This means you can define what equality means for your custom objects. So if you create a class for a book, you might want two books to be considered equal if they have the same title and author, even if they are different instances. In summary, remember this. Equal sign equal sign is for checking if two references are the same, while equals date is for checking if two objects are equivalent in content. Next time you code in Java, keep this in mind to avoid those pesky bugs. What do you think? Have you ever run into issues with these comparisons? Share your experiences in the comments below and let's discuss. Don't forget to like and share this video for more coding tips.